Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and I'd like to share with you my daily gut health routine, which involves the use of our gut rebuild nutrients and our three probiotics. Now, you've likely heard me discuss probiotics before, but I haven't spoken as much about gut rebuilding or repairing nutrients such as glutamine, aloe, zinc, and licorice, which do have a time and a place in a gut health and gut healing program. So I'd like to share with you my experience with the various agents I've experimented with and how I've come to use gut rebuild nutrients plus probiotics on a daily basis as really my long-term gut health maintenance plan. And I should mention that our gut rebuild nutrients is a blend of glutamine, aloe, zinc, licorice, and a few other select gut supportive nutrients. Now, as you may know, in college I had an intestinal parasitic infection, which led me to feel quite, quite terribly. Uh, brain fog, fatigue, insomnia, feeling cold, and treatment for that was very, very helpful. I wouldn't say it got me all the way to my goal of, of feeling 100%, but certainly a huge step forward. I improved even more when finally, a few years later, I got myself on all three of the probiotics, and that's one of the main reasons why I recommend using all three together, because that gave me another substantial jump forward in terms of how I was feeling. And then I, I finally really saw what I would consider a satisfactory level of symptomatic improvement once I added in, along with our three probiotics, the gut rebuild uh, nutrient cocktail, and I've been doing that now for about a year. Now, as I said, I felt much better after treating that parasitic infection with a combination of antibiotics and herbal antimicrobials, a, a massive step forward in the right direction. However, I still had some lingering food sensitivities and symptoms that would indicate I was having this food sensitivity reaction. I had a hard time with beef, eggs, spinach, alcohol, uh, and caffeine, regrettably. And this would oftentimes manifest as bloating or brain fog or potentially loose stools or even some fatigue and even chapped lips, which is actually an example of the gut-skin connection. And in looking back over the past several years, a big jump forward in terms of how I felt after clearing that parasite, I'd say about 70 to 80% improvement. Still some lingering symptoms. Probiotics got me another, I'd say, 15% or so, and then another 15% or so when adding in the gut rebuild nutrients. And I really saw, you know, finally, this, what I would consider fairly robust health when using the probiotics plus the gut supporting nutrients together, where I finally achieved again th this um, ability to not be worried about what I was eating, able to drink alcohol, not that that's something you want to be doing all the time, but drink alcohol, uh, have caffeine, and have some of these other foods for me that were kind of a problem, beef, eggs, spinach, uh, raw vegetables also. Uh, and, and why I think the probiotics combined with the gut rebuild nutrients works so well is because probiotics work to support balance in your microbiota bacterial and, and fungal balance. Whereas the gut rebuild nutrients will help to support and repair the lining of the intestinal tract. And when we use these together, we really have this nice dual support, one for the microbiota, the bacteria, fungus, and other like life, the other for the actual tissues or the lining of your gut. And that's why I think together these pair very nicely. And for me was the combination that finally got me over the hump and to what I would consider my, my goal level of health. And what does the evidence show? Fortunately, there is a significant body of research supporting both glutamine, the main active ingredient in this formula, and some of the other select ingredients. So let's start with glutamine. And I'd like to start with the highest level of evidence, a meta-analysis, which has essentially found that glutamine reduced leaky gut and markers of intestinal damage. So to have a meta-analysis finding this is very, very encouraging. Continuing to quote, 
In patients with IBS and in leaky gut, oral dietary glutamine supplements dramatically and safely reduced all major IBS-related symptoms. So that's great. That's the results of a randomized control trial. So we have a meta-analysis, highest level evidence, randomized control trial, continuing here regarding the evidence for glutamine. Another review of several studies stated, inflammation has been shown to be a cause of intestinal diseases, such as ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and colorectal cancer. Several lines of evidence indicate that glutamine has an anti-inflammatory property. Very encouraging. And another review, quoting again, glutamine supplementation can improve barrier function in several experimental conditions of injury and in some clinical situations. And this conclusion was also echoed by another paper. Now, not all of the data on glutamine agree, and there are some data showing no benefit from glutamine. Namely, in a review paper looking at the effect of glutamine in active Crohn's disease. So this is a very specific patient population with an active inflammatory disease. So we want to consider that when looking at all the evidence, I think it's a very reasonable conclusion to state that if you're suffering with digestive symptoms of any sort, at least a trial on glutamine is something to consider. And other human studies have found that the other select ingredients in gut rebuild nutrients can also be effective. And to quote again, licorice and slippery elm significantly improved both bowel habit and IBS symptoms in patients with constipation-prominent IBS. Also, regarding licorice and chamomile, to quote, shown to be safe and effective in the treatment of mild gastrointestinal disorders. And regarding aloe vera, to quote, is effective and safe for the treatment of patients with IBS compared to placebo. And with zinc carnosine, it has been shown to improve the gut mucosa, and a clinical trial found zinc was able to reduce diarrhea. So when we look at the evidence, we see some fairly significant evidence showing that the ingredients contained in gut rebuild nutrients can improve leaky gut, improve barrier function, reduce inflammation, and improve the symptoms of IBS. So certainly some very encouraging scientific data in human interventional trials and even meta-analyses showing that this cocktail of gut-supporting nutrients can be helpful. And where does something like gut rebuild nutrients fit into your overall health plan? Well, it can really be used at any time and with other treatments. There's no right or wrong. It can be used as an example as I do, along with probiotics. It can also be used while administering antimicrobials of various sorts. If you're going through the health plan in Healthy Gut, Healthy You, I would recommend either adding in gut rebuild nutrients into step two, the support phase where we use probiotics, if you wanted to be really robust in your support phase, or alternatively, after your antimicrobials, so after step three, you could add in the gut rebuild nutrients during step four. Either one is fine. Those are the two options I'd recommend for you, but again, can really be used at any point in time. Also remember that not everyone will need this. If you haven't yet optimized your diet or tried probiotics, then you may want to start there and consider layering in the gut rebuild nutrients should you not see optimum response from those. So in close, our gut rebuild nutrient cocktail combined with our three probiotics has been my daily gut health routine now for a little over a year, and it's been quite effective. And if you are trying to optimize your gut health and still looking to find the ideal support to get you to an acceptable level of improvement, I hope you will consider adding into your plan our gut rebuild nutrients and potentially also, of course, if you're not doing so already, our probiotics.